Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in a field of yaks at Sirkin Sagan Lake in Mongolia and we're just going to take a walk this morning down to the lake to go and check out the view. Yes, we had a beautiful night sleeping in a gear, a traditional house here in Mongolia. It was actually a little bit cold in the night. Yeah, I made a bit of a mistake. Before we went to bed, I basically chucked all of our firewood into the fire and I was like, you know what, we're just going to get that cranking, we're going to blast it up and then we're going to be toasty the whole night. But it didn't turn out like that. What happened was we were absolutely boiling hot for an hour, sweating, we had to take off all of our clothes. About two hours later, it was freezing cold again because all the firewood had burned out and then we had to basically get the sleeping bags out, jump in the sleeping bags, put covers on. It was a pretty rough night after that actually because it was just freezing cold and we had no more firewood so <laughs> as well I can feel a little bit my back because we didn't sleep on mattresses it was just a really hard metal bed actually <laughs> Yeah, so probably not as comfortable even than the tent, to be honest. Yeah. But have a look at this amazing lake. Ta -da! Pretty awesome views. Yeah, we're getting a bit further north into Mongolia now. So we're entering like the more lakes and mountain region. So I think it's gonna be a spectacular ride today. So let me show you guys the route. Okay, so after four days riding in Mongolia, we are now here. And today we are going to be continuing on this road around past Teltenur Lake, coming up here and finishing the day somewhere in this area. Good morning, Bumblebee. Look, we had to reposition our Bumblebee. <laughs> it's now here. <laughs> be kind. And this is our home. Come in. Ta da! One, two, three, four, five. Five beds. Five of the hardest beds in the world. Yeah, check that out. So this was the blanket. And then there's one sort of really thin layer and then like a really thin mattress. And then it's just wooden floor. I can tell you our bodies are not used to it. Especially when, when we want to lay on the side, it's like really uncomfortable. <laughs> But otherwise it was super cozy and I really, really love the design. Yeah, the decoration on these gears are so, so beautiful. The way that they've hand painted every single one of these slats. Yeah, it's really cozy. So we have about five hours to ride today, at least. We don't know exactly where we're gonna end up tonight or where we're gonna sleep tonight, but we have still to pack up everything and it's already 10.30, so better hit the road, let's go. Mine is Mongolian. Oh, okay. Russian so bad. He's Mongolian so bad. That's why we are speaking English. Oh, wow. So actually, you speak English together. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's why they are speaking. So they speak English really well. Russian, Mongolian, English. Wow. Russian, Mongolian, and English. That's amazing. We visited Russia just now. Yeah, we arrived from Korea to Vladivostok to Ulan Ude and then Ulan Vatar. And now we go Altai back to Russia and then Kazakhstan and my old friend in Ulaanbaatar too Ulaanbaatar? nice very cool you guys have a wonderful day okay? okay yeah okay did you play Minecraft? yes of course Minecraft's an amazing game they have yaks as well yeah 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 they do eh this is like Minecraft real life here look at this Okay, see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. The little kids wouldn't let me go. <laughs> it's nice, hey? 
<laughs> Have you nailed the jumping on the bike yet? No, I haven't because our panniers here they are higher than the previous ones. Yeah. And now I have to change my technique. Yeah. Okay. Got a bit of a crazy hill to start. There's no traffic. Okay. okay. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Up the hill. Woo! <laughs> nice. Nice. Man, I love the Mongolian people, really. They're so friendly and always waving and really kind, really kind people. But as well, it's so funny because uh, this morning, the owner, she just came into our room without knocking, without saying anything. Just walked in and started to light the fire again. I was in bed with my <laughs> sleeping mask on. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, oh, I don't care who, who that is, whatever. <laughs> Do what you want. I think their sense of privacy is different because of course they're living all together always in their gear as a family and they're coming in and out however they want yeah that's that's really funny really funny not even a knock hey <laughs> so here it is Turkin Sagan Lake it's actually a national park this lake and it's one of many massive lakes here in the northern part of Mongolia and it's just so impressive if you see all this grassland here and all this grassland is actually cut by livestock you know they don't have lawn mowers here <laughs> yeah that is pretty incredible hey you've yes. got millions of square kilometers of grass everything is being chewed by all of the 70 million livestock that are here in the country crazy man it's like the world's most efficient lawn mowing service <laughs> It is a spectacular view for the morning and a spectacular ride. Yeah, incredible. I can already feel that today is going to be a really nice ride. Yeah. So we've hit a part of road which is not yet complete. Mongolia at the moment is in the process of just crazy road building. Apparently, according to some local people, the, the Chinese companies have been here building during COVID, like just building, building, building. Oh my Lord, Ugh, corrugation. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Okay, wait a second. Oh my God. It reminds yeah. me on Argentina. It's incredibly rough as well. Wow. Ah, it's really annoying actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was crazy, hey? Yeah. And the beautiful yaks. Wow. I love yaks. A little baby fluffy yaks. Aww. No way. This is absolutely crazy. But this is all frozen. Wow, I thought it was pretty cold here, hey? Yeah. We must have come quite high up into the mountains. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna go down and have a look. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm wearing a helmet. <sighs> wow, no way. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Look down here. It's like a mini crevasse. So there's actually still a river running underneath me right now. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> there's the stream. And you can still see the massive chunks of ice. Wow. That's so cool. What are these Russian vans?
34,999.9 We just hit 35,000 miles on the road What a spectacular spot for a lunch break. Look at this view. And you can see a big herd of sheep and goats over there. Some gears, some more gears, and a beautiful stream running through the whole valley. Yeah, I think it's the perfect place to have some sandwiches, hey? Yeah, it's like a painting. Mongolian Discovery Channel. <laughs> so what have we got for lunch? Whoa, look at those. So egg cheese, marmite. Oh, isn't that the same as yesterday? Yes. And the day before? Yeah. Woohoo! Thank you, sweetheart. Wow. Whoa, here we go, down through the rocks. And another spectacular valley. <laughs> Come on, Mongolia, haven't you got anything else except beautifully mind-blowingly stunning valleys <laughs> i'm on. saturated no seriously it's so spectacular here so spectacular the surroundings are just mind-blowing and then in between you see like this really majestic people on horses you know it's just yeah wow oh we knew it was going to come eventually today but it looks like the rain is coming from all sides. Dark clouds on this side, dark clouds on this side. I think it's time for us to disconnect the GoPro media mod and just make sure everything is nicely waterproofed up because yeah, it looks like we're gonna get wet. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Ah, yes, here we go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Pineapple juice. Four and a half liters of water. It's so miserable outside, it's raining non-stop and it's freezing cold and I'm just freezing my ass off. But um, we stopped here on the side of the road in a really, really, really nice clean place. Oh my god, it's so beautiful here. Look at this painting. And we just ordered two coffees. My fingers are freezing. So there's a town coming up in one hour called Sogino. I think we are just gonna find ourselves like an accommodation and not camp for tonight. Okay. Let's find out what the price is. A few moments later. Okay, so their gears are 150,000 for the night and their rooms are 200,000, which is over our budget. So we're gonna head a little bit further along the road and see if we can find another gear camp along the way. Where are you um, traveling from? Uh, uh, England and Germany. Oh, wow, that's cool. How long have you been traveling? Uh, for uh, one and a half years. 
Oh wow, yeah. where did you start? Uh, we started in England. Now we're riding across Asia, back to England. Oh wow. Yeah. What a long journey. Uh, yeah, long journey. I have to find a card for you for our YouTube channel. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Where Grand do you YouTube. live? I live in Melbourne. In Melbourne, yeah. nice. It's been raining since yesterday. It's just too much rain, yeah. yeah. I want to sit by the fire and warm up. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this gear camp is only 80,000 for a gear for the night, which is about 20 pounds. So that'll be perfect for us tonight. And we asked if they had firewood and they do. So I'm really excited about that because I'm still pretty cold. <laughs> Oh my god, look how deep sand this was. Whew. So what's going on in here then? Oh, hello. Oh, thank you, hello. Hey Lavi, you didn't warn me about this sand. Did you, did so, you drop the bike? No, okay. But it's very beautiful. It's like it's really, okay. really cool. <laughs> okay. it, it, it was meat. Uh, noodles with with meat. Yeah. I think we can have it. Should we? Yeah. Okay. Which meat? Sheep. 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 <laughs> sheep. sheep meat. <laughs> sheep meat. Yes. <laughs> okay. And okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, and the fire ah, is good, yes. very good. Because outside, <laughs> raining, no good. Amazing. Oh my god. I mean, come out come outside. Have a look at the eagles. <laughs> wow. But, but this one many birds. No. <laughs> no. No, no. Yes. So? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Bravo. Thank you. Bayesa. 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 Well, this actually looks really good. Oh. Okay, after a long ride in the rain, in the cold, I couldn't say no to a nice hot meal. It's not very vegetarian, but at this point, I don't mind. Plus, this sheep was without a doubt living the best sheep life possible out in the open fields. So I'm going to go for it. Sorry, Mr. Sheep. Let's see how it is. No, I still don't like sheep. <laughs> Me? Oh, how's the smell? Yeah, it's like milky. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's like a broth soup. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so the guys just translated that <laughs> it's sheep tail melted butter. Like sheep fat in there as well. The very sheepy tea. <laughs> it's not too bad. Five minutes later. Okay, I think that's about as much sheep as I can take for one day. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> anyway, we will put it in our Tupperware and have it tomorrow Yeah. for lunch. The tea is nice, but I am a little bit put off by the bits of sheep's tail floating in it, but it's okay. But how incredible is it? Because I had no idea that a grown sheep has a big tail like that. You yeah. Know? yeah. And when I saw this today, I was like, oh my God, that's insane. <laughs> And apparently it goes well with tea. Yeah, wow, that was a really hectic day today. Half 
really beautiful and warm and then the other half just very very rainy and very cold but the landscape was dramatic and beautiful like oh my god it's super super nice here in mongolia and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time another night in the gear <laughs> this has to be the hardest bed in history seriously <laughs> this is very unforgiving this bed <laughs> well have a good night then hey I don't know the best position. <laughs> this is probably the most comfortable position.